race car built to perform and provide absolute efficiency. Hundreds of a second, even thousands of a second count here. The goal, getting as much out of the Audi R15 Plus as possible to, in the end, conquer Le Mans. Using the Audi R15 TDI as a model, even the smallest detail was re-examined on the drawing board to produce the ultimate race car. The plus is basically meant that Audi has looked at everything um, of efficiency, performance, uh, trying to optimize everything. Um, something like the light, which is maybe not so obvious, which is improved. That's very important for a 24-hour race. Um, but efficiency, drivability from the engine, in general more power, but you also want better fuel e economy, you want better aerodynamics, uh, you want the downforce in the corners, to the speeds we want to reach, but you don't want the, um, the drag on the straights, you don't want something to hold you back there. It all starts on the drawing board. These days that's done with CAD software that allows even the smallest detail to be viewed from every angle. A lot of attention is paid to the car's aerodynamics. Only when everything fits together in theory does assembly begin. Transmission and the V10 TDI engine are made it up. And the Audi R15 Plus with its 600 horsepower and new split front begins to take shape. Now the test drives can begin. Driver and vehicle become one at higher and higher rates of speed. That's intent, and the more aggressive looking exterior underscores it. The two designers are also blazing new trails here when it comes to successfully competing in the 24 hour race in Le Mans. Audi designer Marcus Auerbach says that in the past the Audi was very controlled and the design team thought they needed to bring in some uncontrolled elements, like a little rock and roll, and make it a bit more lively. The rock and roll principle could work. It depends on the combination. Attention to detail, improved aerodynamics, and a bit of flash led to a successful start in the 2010 Le Mans series in May. The entire team supporting the Audi R15 Plus is hoping that'll be enough for victory in the 24 hours of Le Mans in June.